Hey guys, Chris from the Moochers, uh, doing a CWL Rising uh, Week 2 recap or matchup here against Code Enigma. As you can see, they got us by three. Um, these guys had a great war. Uh, they're solid core guys. They were a lot of fun to deal with. Um, you know, for a couple of days prior, we were all joking around and such in our group chat. So, um, good war over there and look forward to you know, seeing them around more. So, um, I'm going to jump right into it, and we'll start off with Kronos here, uh, running this Go Witch. So, he's going to drop down that balloon on the mortar, that way he can uh, drop in his witches out here on this corner, take care of this trash. There's three whiz being behind, he's actually going to get the queen kill as well, so... Drops in a golem, it's going to draw that CC, so go ahead and double poi on it. Drops in some more funnel troops out there on the right. His other golem, help tank for them. Brings in the witch behind to get her to step up and take care of that dragon. Wall breakers. <coughs> Barb King, bowlers right behind. This jump spell that he lays down just completely makes that raid. Uh, you know, with it, rages into it, he gets access to the entire base from that jump point, so, nice plan, you know, worked on it for probably a good half hour or so, of just figuring out exactly what the best entry was, and I mean, it, it shows just what a little bit of planning can do for a raid, so, he's got a, a few wizards saved for cleanup, um, you know, with these, you have to be patient. You attack for about 45 seconds, and then you kind of calmly sit there and watch your phone for about a minute and, you know, see what you need to do moving forward with it. So, it's going to take out that Archer Tower and burn the ability. Um, basically, these skellies are just going to keep tanking for everything, and they take care of that, and the rest of it's cleanup. <coughs> So that was a nice solid three by Kronos. Next, we're going to show Coco hitting uh, 23. And he's running a Stone Lalo. Uh, haven't seen too many of these recently. And I think it's because everybody's just kind of continuing on playing with hogs and whatnot for the new meta, but. I mean, this is this is a dope strategy. It's it just looks like it's a lot of fun. I mean, your kill squad gets a huge push. He actually brings all of his spells except for one for the kill squad. It's it's kind of insane. A um, little late on his poison, but also to take care of that hound. So that queen did a little bit of damage on all of them. But when you got three of them, it doesn't really matter. So and. That hound just tanks every single one of those air traps. I mean, it just gets them. So it's going to tank this Tesla farm, and then it pops, of course. The damage has already been done. So plenty of loons to come down here and clean up, as well as there's still a few uh, you know, lava pups left. And he's got one balloon left that he can use for cleanup, but it doesn't look like he needs it. That was a solid hit by Coco. Nice balloon in the corner. Gonna move up to 22. This is 5x. And we're running a stone lalo again. So he's gonna work this funnel. And he's got the the baby drag CC, so um, those poisons are just doing work on it. Takes out the Archer Queen. He's getting these three ADs, no problem whatsoever. <coughs> of 
Queen's doing work. He still has his bowlers up. He gets the heel on him and keeps him there. And he goes ahead and starts his Lalo in from nine. And that hound just tanks that, uh, that Tesla farm for him. So he's going to drop his haste down. He's trying to shade it so he got both packs of loons, but it's just not big enough. Regardless, didn't seem to matter much. The hound pops. There's so many balloons and pups over there that air defense just has too much work to do. It is easily overrun. There's one archer tower that's left in the cannon. So Nice solid hit by 5x on this one. Stone Lalo is looking like it's a lot of fun. Good job. Gonna move up at one more here to 21. Got Mook. And he runs the stone hobo. So he's gonna bring his archers up top, get those uh, corner huts out of the way, gets his gall tanking for his wizards to make that funnel. When there's buildings like this that are sitting right there, they're so close to the to the edge, um, it's really hard to get your funnel. So when building, you know, you can think about that kind of stuff. Um, his queen walks, and it's one of those, like, oh, how did it happen? Like, she's right there, but it happened where she aggroed to a troop, or if she was going after that building, regardless, she walked because of it. So, um didn't matter much, you know, he decided that he was going to drop that uh, jump spell down a little deeper so he got more around the base, um, which was no problem because his troops were, his kill squad could break through that wall just fine. So, they take care of the queen, he's got his hog coming in, drops the heel down right there for him, <laughs> triggers the bomb. <clears throat> what you're going to start seeing more of is uh, giant bombs on the outside. Uh, either actually completely outside to get witches or closer to the outside layer of defenses. That way you have to burn your, that heal spell earlier. So um, hogs will change up a little bit. But new meta is new meta. There's always good building. So he's got plenty of cleanup troops. You see, he's got the three wizards and an archer. And he's going to just put him to work. That's a nice solid 3 star by Mook. God, I've been using Stone Hobo for probably a year. <laughs> Next I'm going to move up here to 13. We got Oi. And he's using a double walk. Double walk is actually an old strat. Um... It's just made a comeback with these new meta bases. They're actually pretty weak to it, so there's not too much that's not weak to eight Valks with a couple of healers and you know decked out rage. But regardless, pretty pretty OP. Um, just speeding it up a bit. You see how wide this funnel gets. He actually, this baby dragon is actually going to take out the entire compartment there on the corner so nice call on the the baby dragoy that was nice brings in his valks um drops his healers they end up targeting the wizard of course but at the end of the day valks and rage go through walls like butter so it only takes a few seconds for him to really start moving along uh gets that uh that hound cc didn't really matter what it was going to be at that point. It, it was going to go down just as fast as the queen did. So, <clears throat> uh, with this, you always want to bring back end troops as well as a couple of cleanup wizards. Um, he's got the baby drag he just dropped out here at like 10 o'clock, as well as a couple of wizards. He's got three minions for cleanup. Um, still has an air defense up. Sometimes guys like to bring back in loons uh, due to, you know, air bombs. You know, the Sam, stuff like that. I don't necessarily like bringing balloons. 
Um, but also that air defense still being up would kind of mess up balloons right now, but he's got the back end hogs. Back end hogs is my favorite, always has been, probably always will be. Uh, the rate that this attack was going, he didn't even need the hogs. I mean, he could have swagged them and saved them for another day. It would have been fine. So, great hit, Oi. Uh, you know, definitely repping the, the double walk. I like it. And my last 9v9, Smelly Reefer. <laughs> Hitting number 12 here. And this is another Stone Hobo. He's got the two jumps, Rage Heal, a couple of poise. No wall breakers on this one, so he's going to jump straight over the outside wall. He triggers that CC and gets the poisons on him. He's going to get that funnel moving along. Gets the queen inside. When I was watching this, I was actually skeptical if he was going to get the queen in or not, but he got her in. So he starts these hogs a little early for my taste, but doesn't have a heal for him or anything. Um, Wizard Tower is going to do work on him. But they take out that side of the base. That's all he needed. So the rest of it is just GG. I mean, he's got the queen ability. He burns up. He still has his Barb King and its ability. So getting that last uh, Archer Tower and the Mortar over there is going to be no problem. As a great hit. Some solid bases over there. So... Definitely don't take this with a grain of salt. I mean, these these are some really good hits for these guys. <coughs> so I'm going to show our boy Manny here hitting number one. This is a fresh two-star. Uh, he's just run ballers. This is his specialty. He likes doing it with his Town Hall 11. He's pretty good at doing it with his Town Hall 10. So he's going to run the naked walk here. He's going to bring in his bowlers and his golem down here to help make this funnel happen. <coughs> Brings the golem giant CC. And gets everything moving inside. He triggers that, uh, well, that eagle artillery, sorry. So he gets the jumps in. He's going to freeze that inferno. May have been a little late, but I had to get it on there regardless. It's tough with these raids. You get so much moving. It's hard to, to take a second to think. So, um, gets the town hall with the king. It was huge. Clutched it. And as you can see, he's brought these baby dragons for percentage. That one's just out of reach. And that's going to get him his percentage. And that's it. It's GG, Manny. Way to get that. That was a fresh two. So those are those aren't exactly easy. Um, now this one, Ben. Ben's a ten all ten, and he got seventy percent on this. Um, this was a really solid hit. <coughs> and it just wow, seventy percent <laughs> is great percentage. So good job to Ben. Um, I know that they were FCing and. They were working on this plan for a couple of hours, so way to put in the work. You know, it definitely shows when you take the time to actually make your plan out. You have extra eyes on it, really make things happen. I mean, this is solid. So he's going to break into that compartment right there. Um, had one wall breaker that actually died on him, and it almost costed him. You'll, you'll see it shortly. We were all freaking out watching this thing happen, so... So this queen walks just on point. She's coming in. She's doing great. He's going to take care of the king. Burns the ability. Finishes him off. A little early with the rages. But better safe than sorry in some instances. He knows what he needs her to do. And he needs her alive to be able to do it. So props to that. She steps up here. She's going to take out the Eagle Artillery. <coughs> Ballers are just doing work creating that funnel there. I believe he's got Ballers in his CC as well. He's got a Golem he's going to drop in. Gets the Barb King down. 
more bowlers. And they're going to take out all the way around there. I mean, they're they're going to do some serious work. He's not going to raise this healer or uh, the healers on the Archer Queen anymore. Um, she's done her work, so he lets her go. The balloon in the clan castle is done. So as you can tell, he didn't have enough wall breakers to get through that wall this time. So um, he's going to drop his jump down over here to get into the town hall shortly. This was, um, you see how close that is? That was sketch. It's barely touching that wall compartment, so. Way to freak us all out, Ben. Nonetheless, dude, these things, as soon as they turned, we all knew they were going in. That was awesome. Um, I like sending in a couple as well to draw any bombs that could be there. That way the masses can come in and take them all out. I mean, 70%, that's, that's tough to beat, dude. That's a good job. Nice solid hit. Good war. It was a fun one. I'm just going to speed things up a bit. And that's that. So, that's all I'm going to recap. Uh, again, you know, great war by the guys over at Code Enigma. Had a lot of fun with this one. Look forward to the next week's. Um, and, you know, good luck to them in the future. Thanks again.